what's up world what's up elementor users future web designers current web designers anyone that's trying to build a business as a web designer so one of the things i want to bring up is about using facebook to get clients and grow your business and the reason why i'm bringing this up is because i'm on a lot of uh baseball i wouldn't say a lot i'm, I'm on some uh web design facebook groups and often we see in these groups somebody will post hey i'm looking for a web designer and usually these posts are they're followed by like a couple dozen people saying like hey i sent you a, a, a pm i sent you a dm or here's our portfolio we'd be happy to work with you well i'm really curious i like to know what like other web designers are working with plus i'm also looking for experience and talent a lot of the times sometimes we're hiring for web designers so what the, I do usually, the first thing I do is I go to the profile. And one thing I noticed right off the bat with many, many, many freelancers offering to do web design work, there's nothing indicating they're a web designer. There's, there's nothing. It's like it's a hidden secret identity. Like you should be shouting this out to the world. I'm a web designer. I would love to build your website. This is what I do. But it's not always like that. And, you know, one of the most common questions that we hear and like one I used to ask is, how do we find more clients? Uh, how do I get more clients and more projects? But the real thing is a real question to ask yourself is, how do clients find you? So I want to discuss three ways to use Facebook to get more clients and to get more business. Three things you should be doing with Facebook right now and should start right away that's gonna help you become discoverable, help to let it be known that you're a web designer and this is what you do. Number one, your bio. Your bio should should just tell the world, this is me, I'm a web designer, this is my my freelance company, this is my agency, this is this is a link to our website, this is uh, our other, uh, uh, social media, like your bio should shout out, I am a web designer and this is what I do. I mean, usually when we start off in, in web design, uh, most of our clients that come from referrals, uh, networking, just like people we meet randomly or go out to actually meet people and friends and family. So I don't understand why it's hidden. Now I get it. Some people want super secretive lives on Facebook, but Dude, once you, once you become a web designer, you, you know, you're working in the online world. You, unless if you have like a straight up psycho ex that is, will murder you if they find you. Or if you're wanted for some crime and you will get locked up by, you know, posting your web designer on, on your bio, then, you know, by all means, keep it secret. Keep it a secret hidden identity. But really, you should let people know, especially, I mean, your friends and family. I mean, you could be the go to guy. You know, you could be the go-to uh, web person uh, when somebody says, hey, we need a website built. Do you know anyone? Oh, so-and-so does it because they know that's what you do. So these are the things that you should have in your bio. I mean, first off, put down in there your current job, you know, uh, web designer, web developer. Second one, create a Facebook page, which we're going to go into in the next one. But, you know, you should have a Facebook business page. Uh, with either the name of your of your agency or a view of whatever your business is, your business name right there that can link to it. You should also have uh, like other social media links, like to your LinkedIn, to your Instagram, like other links that link out showing this is what you do. Dribble, Behance, Pinterest, uh, any of these, you know, so optimize your, your bio, make it be known. You're a web designer. This is what you do and you would love to help somebody build their website. All right. Number two, and I told you we're going to come back to this, and that is building your business page, your Facebook business page. You don't have to have a huge agency or even a small agency. If it's just you freelancing, you should still have a Facebook business page. Give yourself a name. Give your page a name. And don't just make the page, but take time on it. Like, really put some care and love into it. it, it, it it'll, like, just go out and look at some other agencies. Look look at other people's uh, business pages. And when you see the ones that you like, ones that are, like, really clean and easy to understand, you know, build yours out like it. It does take time to set up, and it takes a lot of care. 
a lot of times I will see designers and they will have the business page. I'm like, oh, great. And, you know, so for me, this is my journey. I see somebody looking to do web design work. I go to their bio. Uh, and if they do have a business page in there, I'll click on the business page or a link to their website. That was another one I missed out on the first one. A link to your website. Throw a link to your website in your bio for sure. But a lot of times I'll see on the Facebook business page that uh, it, it's blank. You know, it's blank. There's not really an image there for for the banner or the image is poor quality. Uh, there's no information in there. And it just looks like a page was made but not built. So take time to build it. Like take time to really go through it. Spend a couple of days on it. Like nurture it. Go through every little section. Get to really know it. Make sure there's nothing left that hasn't been unturned or touched. And watch some YouTube videos. Like learn about it. Watch watch like five or six videos and you'll understand it a little bit better. And then once you have it built, stay active on it. Uh, a good uh, uh, a good practice to follow would be like one post per week. Now you can make that post maybe some of your work, like one of the websites you built. You can make it a design that you made, or you can make it like an article related to web design and what you do that you find helpful for someone. And you can use a tool like Buffer and schedule it out. But one post per week, keep on top of it. It shows that you're running a business. And that's what we like to see. That's what clients want to see. They'll feel confident with somebody that they see running a business. All right, last one, number three. And this is the big one right now. This is the hot one right now. This is probably one of the biggest opportunities you can find right now. And that is being involved and Facebook groups related to web design and what you do. Now, this is where we do things for elementor users. So most likely, most people watching this are already in the elementor group. And I can guarantee anybody inside the elementor community group, which has like, I don't know, like 60, 80,000 people in it, they're going to know a handful of people in it. There's a handful of people that we all know in it because they're super involved. And one person in there that's just crushing it is this girl, Zoe. She is just crushing it on there. And she just keeps showing her work, showing what she's built, showing what she could do with it. And I can tell you one thing. When I'm ready to hire somebody, if I need somebody just for Elementor, I'm going to go to her first. Like, she's a person that I would go to if I have a project that is, it's like we need, like, you know, the right person, somebody really good on it. And that's because she put herself out there. And that goes for a lot of people. I'm just using her as an example because I just think this girl's crushing it right now. But there's so much opportunity out there. Uh, I would suggest just stick into like two or three groups, groups that you feel that are active, that you enjoy being in and just being involved in them. You know, uh, keep it positive. Don't don't be a troll or be, you know, don't be a douche about like, you know, your answers and stuff or be a dick about things like like actually be helpful, positive, be in there to be of service. Don't be in there trying to get clients, be in there to help out and just get involved and stay involved, you know, answer questions, post things, show your work in there and just like do things that you feel are going to help others. That's the key right there. It's helping others. When you're in the zone and you're just helping others, whether it's answering questions, whether it's creating content, whether it's just trying to inspire others, like what that's going to do is it's going to like build this thing around you. You're going to put yourself up there and you're going to be looked at. And people like people like this. Like we do. We like people who are helpful. They're positive because they bring that good energy. They bring the good value into it. And we all have that opportunity. Look, at you don't have to be like super knowledgeable. You don't have to be like, you know, been a, a, a web designer running an agency, building $20,000 websites and doing it for years. You simply could just give back what you've been learning. Like if you're watching this right now, hopefully you're learning something from it. Before, you know, if, if you asked me to do this two years ago, I wouldn't have been able to do this right here because I still did not know these things yet. I had to learn these myself and then I had to apply them. And then after I applied them, I started seeing results coming from them. Now I'm able to share them and I just hope I can share them and it helps out. And here's the thing, like I love being inside this process because 
I'm 100% self-taught. I came from a construction uh, a, a background, nothing tech, not, nothing with no technology, no computers. I didn't even have Wi-Fi in my house. Like it was crazy. I was like a dinosaur in the Stone Age. But I became self-taught. I, I fell in love with with uh, building websites, and then I just kept wanting to get better and better at it. And I wanted to do better for clients and like actually deliver results. And it's it's from learning from others, from uh, YouTube people putting out content and videos, uh, learning from Facebook groups and other groups, uh, and just learning from articles. And what I found out is the people I'm learning from are just doing the same thing now that what I'm doing. They learned it, they shared it, they gave it back. Uh, and this right now is the biggest opportunity if you want to grow your business and if you are looking to get more clients because it takes time, but you keep doing it, the clients start to come to you. You don't have to go chasing them. I hope this helps out. It's only three things you got to do on Facebook. There's other areas uh, to focus on, too, to help you get discoverable and clients find you. We'll talk about those on other videos. That's it for tonight. All right. Cheers. Peace.